Oh, Susan Barnes talking there about her story and her journey and how the grief cafes have helped her. And there's a lot of grief cafes actually popping up all over the and place. They and they're a really good idea, really good idea that you can go along. And as we heard from somebody there saying, you know, it's not just about tea, no. tears, and it, there is laughter there oh, as well. Absolutely. It can yeah. be. Yeah. I think that's really important. Definitely a time Very in life Very important for us to support. talk about. Mm. Yeah, we do. Uh, shall we move on to the weather now? And it's been pretty cold, but I have to say, glorious days mm. of sunshine. Yes, and we are going to hold on to the cold weather until Friday when it starts to get a little bit milder, but it's a very short blip of mild air before it turns cold again. David Hunt captured the morning sunshine at Bob Pier. Andrew Gregory photographed blue skies here, beautiful at Titchfield Abbey. And look at that sunshine in the new forest today. Beautiful, taken by Chrissy Whiffen. Some glorious sunshine through the course of today. Hazy sunshine for some of us. This weather watcher picture was taken earlier on today. First thing this morning, in fact, the sunrise at Waltham St Lawrence in Berkshire. Now, through the course of tomorrow morning, we'll have some fog, mist and frog frost patches in a few places. Lingering fog patches through the course of the day for some areas. Now, there is a Met Office warning very light last night, but it will be dry and quite cloudy at times. So tomorrow, slightly more cloud than we had today. So it's a repeat performance tonight of last night because this is exactly the same weather warning we had from the Met Office last night for fog patches. It may cause disruption to travel, especially at the airports, especially down towards the south and east part of the country. Elsewhere, still some misty conditions. Temperatures falling to around minus two Celsius, so quite a chilly night, and there is a chance of a frost as well. Through the morning tomorrow, after a cold, frosty and a foggy start, the fog may linger in a few places. Not everyone will have the lingering fog, will have some bright or sunny spells, but generally a good deal of cloud through the course of the day, and a high of seven to eight degrees. So still a chilly feeling day with very fairly light variable winds. So on the inshore waters tomorrow, the winds are variable, three or less, becoming southwesterly three to five later. The visibility is good and the sea state is smooth or slight, occasionally moderate later. Now tomorrow night, where we have the clear skies, there is once again the risk of a frost first thing on Thursday morning. Generally, there will be a good deal of cloud, maybe some mist and fog patches once again, and temperatures will hover below freezing or just above in our towns and cities. So a cold start to the day on Thursday. Thursday should be mainly dry. We are going to see some good spells of sunshine, but there will be an increasing southwesterly breeze, and that breeze will blow in more cloud on um, Thursday evening and a weather front Thursday night. So this band of rain will work its way in. So blustery conditions during Thursday, and in fact, we could see wind gusts of between 30 and 40 miles per hour. So through Friday we'll have some spells of rain during the course of the day, clearing later on, blustery conditions as well. Saturday some sunny spells and then Sunday rain at first. Sally. Alexis, thanks very much. Now you may remember at the beginning of uh, this year